What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about uh, another new thing coming with update 36 and that is the target marker system. Now a few days ago I made a video talking about hiding your pets in town which is a thing that a lot of people in the community have asked for for a really long time and of course the puppet test server just started this week on PC and I was kind of interested to see what was going to go on with this test server. Of course most of y'all know I play here on console, I play on PS5 so a lot of this stuff I have to just read about and hear what other players think about it during the public test server since we don't have access to it here on console. And I was kind of curious overall how update 36 was going to work and it seems like so far it's going to be a lot of quality of life changes. I'm not sure how the community is going to feel about that after all the controversy with update 35. I'm not sure if Zoss decided to maybe calm down some of the changes and just go with more quality of life changes or if they kind of you know had this idea to begin with just to make update 36 a little more simple than update 35 was but overall i think some of the changes are going to be good i think a lot of people are going to like the new target marker system and this is going to be a new ui system that allows you to mark allies enemies and even yourself with a unique icon target marking can be used across all types of content including dungeons trials and pvp and in the overland kind of world or you know any overland content that you're doing and also can be used while in a group or solo by default this feature is bound to the tab key or right d-pad on console simply hover over an entity and press tab or right d-pad if you're on console you can select any icon in the wheel to apply the mark a mark may be removed by targeting you know that certain thing with a mark and selecting the same you know button currently uh, present on that entity or the same mark that you already have it marked with marks may be self-applied by bringing up target marker wheel without a target selected and then selecting a icon now we do have a way right now to kind of mark enemies i'm sure some of you have seen this before some of you may not know about it kind of the same idea is if you're going to use your pet or your uh, companion to go attack a certain enemy you can mark that uh, it's a little bit harder to do on console than it is on pc but the ability to be able to mark, uh, you know, certain things or even teammates or yourself is a pretty unique idea. And I think, of course, this is kind of a thing that, you know, if you play on PC, you have the ability to have the icons where you kind of put the icon over the healer, over the tank. And I think they're trying to add this in. A lot of the things they have add-ons for on PC, they're trying to add in, I think, to make or allow PC players not have to run so many add-ons in game and also make the console version of the Elder Scrolls Online a little bit more like the PC version to where you have more options to have different UI abilities in game than just kind of being a basic game like it was years and years ago. Over the last several years, the console version of the Elder Scrolls Online, especially on new gen, has gotten to be more like, in my opinion, what you would experience on PC. Not just like it by any means, but more like it just for the fact of we have options for more UI things. And of course, being able to add this new marking system will be very helpful, I think, in a lot of different situations, whether you play PvE or PvP content. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this new system. Let me know what you think about Update 36 so far, whether you're on PC or you're on console, if you've been reading about it. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.